Get ready, Moon Market family, because these penny stocks with high short interest that are truly undervalued and where these shorts are driving these companies to the ground, these stocks are going to get squeezed out one by one by one by it's, it's going to be all over the place. What's happening in the market right now is absolutely crazy. Huge green day today. And this stock is 421% shorted. The entire float and then some is shorted of this stock. Now, the NASDAQ 100 has soared 7.5% in its biggest gain since March 2020. And like I said recently, after the midterms, I believe there could be a nice rally in stocks. That's exactly what we saw today. That's exactly what we may continue to, to see. I'm not going to get way too over optimistic here but this is feeling a bit reminiscent of the 2020 covid bottom i do believe the stock market can start to march higher and otc and small caps will be the place to be if this does continue what we saw was lower than ex expected inflation numbers it was actually 7.7 percent for the year ending in october although that's still high it's down from 8.2 percent in september and well below the analyst estimates of eight percent spy skyrocketed 5.4 percent and is continued continuing to climb after hours right now if inflation continues to ease the fed could choose to end rate hikes sooner than anticipated and that would be absolutely huge news for the stock market and a lot of these extremely oversold and way undervalued penny stocks could see major squeezes and move their way back up to their true value this is huge right here we continue to expect the fed to slow the pace of fund rate increases with a 50% basis point hike in December and 25 basis point hike in both February and March, according to Goldman Sachs. If that does happen, we could have a great end of the year and an even better 2023. 2023 can be huge for the stock market and these penny stocks will get back to their fair value. I'm excited. I don't want to get too excited because we have seen a rally like this before just to go, just for it to go right back down. But this rally was incredible today. The fact that we're starting to see inflation slow down great signs of inflation slowing down now next report it could just hike back up but right now it's slowing down if it continues to decrease you know would be great and now that we're seeing a good chance of lower rate hikes that's huge because the market is forward looking what is expected to happen in the world a few months or a year from now will happen in the market now so what is expected to happen way down the line will happen now in the market unless you get you know a random surprise the market cannot predict like COVID or a war like we've seen that caused these crashes ticker AREB is sitting at a 1.62 million market cap and this is in my my opinion what i'm talking about what i'm talking about undervalued penny stocks and small caps and will eventually get back to their fair value in my opinion or at least get a nice run to get closer to their to to their fair value anything under 20 cent for areb continues to serve as great ad for the stock in my opinion but there's a major upcoming catalyst it's at a 1 million market cap on or before november 14th they anticipate to report 5 million revenue for one quarter in quarter three and 4.7 uh, 14.7 million revenue total for the first three quarters of 2022 they're on target to achieve 20 million revenue for the year and i believe if you can get this in the 20 cent range you know if you get it can get it from 25 cent to really 29 cent around there that's great and then you can wait for those earnings on the 14th I can I think this can be a fantastic swing trade opportunity. They also will be attending a quarter four investor summit live in New York on November 14th at 12:30 p.m. Eastern time. This one's still way undervalued. Continues to be a great swing trade. This works out as a swing trade every single time in the 20 cent range. I mean, it usually goes right back to the to, to the 30s. Sometimes it gets to the 40s. We want to see this over 50 cent. When they announced the projection, just a projection of five million revenue for the quarter, the stock ran. 60% on just that projection on this PR right here on October 20th. Now, if they come out and actually release these numbers and they get 5 million revenue for the quarter, it could fly because they're actually making that money. They're proving that in a filing in an earnings report. So one of the big runners of the day was COSM that I talked about a few times on this channel and a few weeks ago. It ended up actually running huge today. Well, then I ran the next day after uh, i covered it at eight cent but today it hit 12 cent up 60 percent on the day you can see this is the first time we covered it in this video 12.5 million bought now to 3 million market cap right now 
This was just alerted two days ago in the private Discord. Two days ago, before a 60% move, because we saw the catalyst, we saw the tweets from this investor relations manager, and we noticed that this could have a major short squeeze. And if you want to get these penny stock alerts, use a Discord link in the top pinned comment. There's major penny stock alerts going on there every single day. This was sitting at just seven cent pre-market today. Pre-market, this was sitting at seven cent. You could have got this at seven cent, hit 14 cent after hours. That's a 100% move from pre-market to after hours in a single day. You need to be able to trade pre-market. Moomoo allows you to trade anytime, pre-market and after hours. You can see this white box, it allows you to trade there. And it allows you, let's say you wanted to take profit, you know, after hours, you can do that. And if you use my link in the top and comment, they're giving you $10 cash if you just deposit money after you sign up with my link. And that's also including 15 free stocks with each stock valued up to $2,000 only with my link. Use Mumu. Go ahead and do that. You need to trade pre-market. There's something extremely interesting going on with this company. They're Remember, this is the one where the CEO bought 12.5 million shares, which is over one million dollars of the he bought of the company. This is one of the biggest insider buys on a penny stock that I've literally ever seen. You can see in this filing it says A or D. When it says A right there, that means that he acquired acquired these shares. If it says D right there, that means he disposed of the shares, but he acquired them. There was even more insider buying after that video and after this filing insiders added another 15 million shares for 16 percent of the company cosm the entire float is shorted and there's multiple stocks in this video where the entire floor float is shorted near um it's at 91 percent short interest on cosm some platforms are reporting 628 percent short interest which is crazy because COSM didn't do a reverse splitter and anything that affects a share structure recently. Besides, I think they added some shares to the share account. So the numbers shouldn't be very skewed right now. This is just an extremely shorted stock. It's either 91% or 628%. Either way, it's extremely high. If the entire float is shorted, there's something going on there. This is where it gets crazy. The investor relations manager has been talking about the company on Twitter a lot recently. Frank Benedito is the IR manager for COSM and CLNV. And I confirm that he is, you know, actually the IR manager. Recently, they said they're going to make a very aggressive move to deal with short selling. They're going to make an aggressive move. The company, through a PR or some th sort of update, they're going to make a move. And oh, let me open my water bottle here. I almost drank that water with the cap on. You can't do that. So the first thing I did was contact him to make sure the company was not playing, just trying to create hype, saying all this stuff to dilute shares right after they create that hype and they get a run out of the stock. He said that COSM, they just did an offering. There's no plan for any more offering or any more dilution at this time. I asked him, do you plan to dilute more of the company? And then he said, the number one priority is dealing with this monster short position. A shareholder asked, what they can do to combat shorting. What exactly can they do to even deal with that short position? He basically said that they're going to be filing a lawsuit in some way, shape, or form. You can see right there. I've seen companies get major retail hype and attention after they post a PR calling out shorting or you know filing a lawsuit would be even bigger. If they do this, it could attract the big groups that target these heavily shorted companies. They still have a letter of intent signed to acquire Zip Doctor. And by the way, CUSM plans to acquire Zip Doctor from the OTC company AMIH. Pay attention to this. This literally has a 39,000 market cap under 1 million flow on the OTC AMIH. So keep an eye out for that. If there's a PR soon where Cosm acquires Zip Doctor from AMIH, AMIH could fly at that very small market cap. I just wanted to point that out for you. And last time COSM ran, ran AMIH ran 250%. So keep an eye out for that one. Another one that I've been talking about that I think is undervalued. It can be an easy swing trade. I said it could be an e easy swing trade. It's proving to be that. And that's undervalued is SYTA at 12 cent right now, 4.12 million market cap. And actually, the market cap is truly 2.23 million. It's wrong on Google, but it's right on, on Yahoo Finance. They have about 20 million in assets. That's already undervalued as it is right there. They reported earnings just tonight, and their revenue is up 111% to 2.6 million in quarter two. Sales of their rug devices are up 588% to 1.9 million year over year. Insiders loaded up. 
the stock at uh, four million of the stock. You know, four. I think it was yeah, four million dollars of the stock at twenty three cent per share. We can buy lower than the insiders bought at, and they completed an offering at twenty three cent per share. Really, everything about this is screaming undervalued in my eyes. And believe it or not, I still do like DBGI right now. I'm looking for pullbacks on this one. Um, if we get any pullbacks, I'll be adding. The short interest is four hundred twenty one percent, and that was updated on Ortex. It said three thousand percent, but then they updated it, and it's still at four hundred twenty one percent short interest and they have a 20 million acquisition coming soon so if they announce that acquisition it could absolutely squeeze in my personal opinion still very low market cap very low float as well so i'm still looking at this, that one if i can get any dips on dbgi that would be great so i'm really liking they're around 10 cent or under small cap penny stocks right now they're ripping lately two that i believe could be next are ticker k a l and otc O-T-I-C. I believe at some point these both could have nice rips. K-A-L completed an offering at 14 cent per share and is only 8 cent right now. That's similar to, you know, that's a reason why COSM is uh, running today because they completed an offering, I think, at 13 cent per share and the price was only 8 cents, so it ended up running back to that offering price. And then OTIC has 40 million cash. You can see from my earnings report today, they have 40 million cash at five, at a 5 million market cap and 8 cents. So I like these two. I think at some point they can rip if you can get dips on either one of these and just wait at the catalyst. I think they can do well. And WLAN did very well today. It's still one of my top OTC swings. I'll have more DD to put out on this one as well and have that notification bell on to get these penny stocks instantly join the private discord for penny stock alerts and join a moo with the link in the top and comment get 15 free stocks 10 free dollars and trade pre-market that's it for me peace